Hi, and welcome to the Palmer Clay Craft Tips. Right now we are going to be showing you how to properly set up and arrange your Palmer Clay and the best tips on storage, how to set up a nice workspace, and for Palmer Clay on the go, and stuff like that. So, here we go. First, you're going to need a nice, clean workspace. And you should be sitting down for making Palmer clay, as that can be really helpful. Next, second tip is to have very good lighting for your Palmer clay workspace. Next, make sure you have a very clean, nice place to work with your Palmer clay. The desk was just for sturdiness. So this is where I do my polymer clay up here and it's nice and clean. Next, we are getting into storing all your polymer clay, how to store it all properly. It would be great to get a nice small container like this that has little pockets, that adjustable pockets for storing your polymer clay. And it's nice, it's big enough and, well, actually, it's small enough so that it can be carried around in um, Palmer Clay to go. So you can just carry that around, and in the car, you can just open it up. And up here, you could have a workspace to work on. And here, you see we have stored these little containers to store all our Palmer Clay. And over here, we have an open space and a bigger space. Now the reason why we don't have the big clips in here is because it helps us store a little bit more but it would probably be a good idea to put the clasp in there. We can't really find them now but uh, I'm sure. And the big workspace in the middle right here here's just some little scraps that you could put in a plastic bag this is good for storing your Palmer clay right here little Palmer clay creations because right here and right here here are just three of my examples and they fit nice and there perfectly sometimes they roll around like these two but it's pretty much a nice clean space nothing's with it or in it to um, disturb them Except for this, and usually, if you're careful enough, you it would work well. And also, next you will need for, especially if you are a Palmer Clay on the goer, or like whatever, it's really good, or you just don't want to like get up and wash your hands, because you always have to wash your hands, you don't want to get anything in your Palmer Clay, because if you don't have clean hands, yeah, it won't result in a nice, clean creation always carry around some hand sanitizer. You can just easily put that on your hands and you'll be ready to start making palm clay. Next is always a good idea to have an X-Acto knife. Now sadly this X-Acto knife did not come with a special special thing to put over it to protect it from scratching anything. So, what we do here, if you have one like that, if that's the case, you're just going to move your palm clay over to the side slightly, and it'll fit right in here, and it will stay. Next is always a good idea to have a pocket knife, because it has all these little things inside them that are, would be good for helping out to make palmer clay things like this and it has plenty more like even a little toothpick for trimming off ed edges and now we are going to be talking about where you can get little storage things like this this and the best prices this is was at Walmart for four dollars I believe it's all blurry four dollars only and they came in purple uh, blue green and pink I think 
and uh, they're really nice and they can hold store your Palmer clay really well because of the little pockets they have. You always want to get ones with pockets. You don't want your Palmer clay to just fly out everywhere. And I think this is a very good way to store Palmer clay. And if you noticed, there's little textures on here. That's also good for the toothpick that's in here because you can give it texture. But what I recommend is like a hair br brush, a pokey hair brush with the little little brown things on the side. Those are always really good for texture. Like I used one of them to texture this cookie. And the cookie's really cute and this mushroom. Oh, I mean marshmallow, but I didn't really texture that, but I textured this. And so I consider Michaels to be very good for buying storage units like this. Now, if you have a Palmer clay business or something like that, and you have a bunch of Palmer clay, I recommend getting it uh, a storage kit at Michaels or Walmart uh, or Joann's because they have bigger selections and probably good little storage bins and maybe some with handles. Or you can like go to a hardware store and get a nail kit because well a nail holder because that's always really good for storing polymer clay um, I have an example let me go get to it. okay this here would be very excellent for holding polymer clay I have my friendship bracelet string in here just up these are just a few I have about like I think 243 other little long things that I have to put on these little spools and let me show you how how roomy it is and it even comes with a handle and it's very very roomy like I would really consider this but I don't have too much polymer clay so I just store it in there but here let me show you an example they have separate compartments you could put it in but the only problem with this one it's not tall enough for it to stand up on its own so like you'd have to lay it down but I guess that would be okay too because it just could probably see all your um like when you close it it'd be really easy to see the color because it's like and the brand like let's say you want to use a cheaper brand and then you have them store but you don't and you really need to get it access it quickly that was my finger rubbing on here yeah I did not fart. <laughs> and so, like, let's say you have a cheaper one in this one and, and a um, more expensive one in here. And you need to see. <laughs> the, the <laughs> okay, um, let's say you have a cheaper Sculpey. I mean, a cheaper Palmer Clay. Like, here's Sculpey. That's a really good brand. I think the, I had, the best brand I think is, um, Prim well, I I'm, haven't used Primal yet or that cheaper brand and I'm going to get though and I'm going to make a re review so let's say you have the same color but if you want to know which brand it is because I don't know you need cheaper one for a cheaper client or whatever um, and you need to see which one it has but you need to make it quickly and make it all that stuff and you could use this would be a great example for that and it's really good for um friendship bracelets too but I'll get to that on a later video um so that's just my Palmer clay tips I'll make some more um once I find a great amount but trust me you really want some hand sanitizer in your kit or because if you don't have hand sanitizer and you're on the go then you're gonna have some pretty messed up Palmer clay creations it'll get all nasty and yeah well, um, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, I've had a lot and a lot, I mean like about 20 requests on how to make all my friendship, um, all my man yarns that I know how to make, and I will be posting those up soon. I wasn't going to post any up, but I figured all of you guys were asking, and uh, I'm a really nice person. I don't like to ignore people like that, so... I will be making those tutorials because I've been pretty lazy 
so uh, I haven't gotten much up yet. I have one. But so, um, yeah, please comment and subscribe and go check out my other videos.